What's up with this? Well, this is the same episode as last week. Yippee! Another month done with the project. So let's count them up again and see how fast this is going. So it was Thursday and Friday last week. So I'm not sure how many hours because I had a lot of small bits and stuff that went go on. So probably I guess eight hours in total, maybe a little bit more, but it was a crazy day. So let's count the hours up for the month of March and start in April. So in March we got 40 hours, so it is going like crazy on this cadet project. We are already almost 140 hours in total into the project and we are not done yet. So let's go fit the final bottom plates and uh, repeat what we did last episode. I'll try to film some more crazy stuff, but let's see what happens on this week's episode. And that means another bottom plate, but I know now exactly what to do. So we can start grinding out right away, getting the stuff fitted, getting all the rust out, getting some parts back in, and then it can go up in the ramp so we can clean out the well through points. And then this episode, both of the bottom plates should be totally done. At least that's the goal. Another great view of our friend, the waterline, on the bottom of this. This side is worse than the other side. A lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of rusty and crusty. Let's go fix this. So I was saying this going fast. Whew. I hope it goes fast. I'm in the flow, but we keep going on with the rust. And I hate rust. I think you all know right now that I'm always all in when I see rust, but damn you, man. Let's clean this out. Well, again, a real fitment of shit. This one's even a little bit more difficult, I guess. Oh, man. Not going to work, mate. Not going to work, my mate. <laughs>
Okay, so this piece came out over here, somewhere, over here, all right, over there. So that should be around just about the line that we can use. So if we give this some more room, Just finished this. Quickie in between job, mounted the wheels of the transporter. We put on air, so that's off of my time with the cadet again. And as always, mm, nothing's going smooth. The other side was a bit rough with the shapes on compare this floor to the other floor, but this is a little bit not way worse, but the original reinforcements that are in the floor are now on a point that it's really difficult to shape it again because it's already pushed outward and if I want to push it inward, so there's a lot of extra material which needs to go away. So I'm sometimes I'm off in hammering it down out of the car and sometimes just hammer it inside of the car because there's too much material and I don't want to make it too complicated because otherwise we'll never get finished and we'll never see it again. So I am well trying to finish this off. So it's, it's a little bit rough now, but the shapes are getting into the sheet metal, so I can later on hammer and dolly it in a little bit better shape. Over here we got a lot of material extra. Over there, of course, we got a little too short. And then back here, that's way too much over here. This shape, well, as you can see, we needed to hammer this in as well, because that's different. So there will be... Some slight issues with putting this back in as well. Meh. Yeah. Okay, so we can hammer that down a little bit. But that will be rough as well to get it back in. Yippee -yay -yay. Well, a little repair here, a little repair there, a little repair every fucking where. So, okay, repair here, some repairs, a lot of repairs, and then over here, some repairs. But most of the bottom is prepared now. So, now on, oh no, first up, go lay under it and clean some final bits out so we can weld it properly and then okay then we can go off to making the last final piece fit and hopefully we can grind it down and make it fit today <laughs> probably i will be crazy dirty right now but we need to clean that out before we can fix and weld a good point at the bottom. So now let's start getting that fixed and fitted properly, same like the other side. And then prepare everything and weld it in. Let's go. Oh, shoo.
Well, we've got another floor panel in. This one, well, as my optimistic self was saying this one was going faster, but didn't. This was a not so good working one and with this sheet metal it is just terrible to weld. And the fitment was, well I, yeah, the fitment was good but it just wasn't working with me. I think it's because of the sheet metal and if you touch it with the, with the welder it just started sprittling and yeah, that does not work but it is in, we got two floor panels in, so the GSI is getting some life again. Don't watch the welds because they are not so nice. I'm going to grind them down and then we're going to put some protective layer over it so it will look nice and it won't start rusting anymore. Probably this side will need some love with when grinding it all down we do some extra welds, but that's for later. First up, let's clean it out a little bit. Man, it is making a mess, all of this. And there's no good way to get these bottom plates in. It's just so crazy. But we got it, we got it done. I want to clean out some stuff and get the final bits done. Okay, since this is such shitty sheet metal, I'm not going to grind it down today, maybe tomorrow. I want to clean out the welds real quick, so they won't go rusting because of the sinker or sheet metal, it's terrible. Well, actually, now I cleaned everything out, the welds went better than expected. Especially with this type of sheet metal. It's kind of good. All the prep work and the preparations paid off in the end. I think otherwise it would took me way longer. So now we've got some nice bottom plates in. So for the next episode is to clean and grind down the final bits. So for the next episode it's cleaning out and do the final bits on the floor pans and weld them from beneath so it's going up on the ramp again because on the driver side there is some reinforcements that we need to connect to the floor pan still. I didn't do that straight away because I wanted to make the floor pan fit first because of the strange shapes of this floor pan. We can always pull them and put them back together and I was worried if I would do that first and then trying to weld it with this type of sheet metal like I told you and the risk of it not fitting. So that's the next stop to do. Grinding, cleaning everything out, put it on the ramp, clean it from the bottom, and well, yes. I'm kinda happy on this result. You know all the crazy shapes from the factory, it's not the nicest floor pan, but I think when I'm done with some hammering and dolly, uh, this will be a good result. And look at this. This is the line where I put this one in. And that line is way further back. So that's, well, that's how much more rust there was. Well, and a lot of you have been asking how the rest of the car is. Well. Yeah, I am looking at, well we're working our way to the back now, the bottoms are in, so I slowly tend to listen to you all and start looking and what I will find at the rear. So I saw some crazy bits, I hope it's not rust, it's just bad paint work or bad preparing work, but look at this. You can see all these bubbles over here. And they're all across the line. I hope it's visible on, yeah, I think it's visible this way. And there are some over here. Most of the times these are rust. So when we're working the way backwards, it tends to be okay. But I was feeling the rear quarter and this is nice and round and 
the round shape of the cadet. Oh, it's looking kind of crazy when I'm, well, softly, gently touching the cadet. But if I feel over here, I can feel something like a kink. And that is not good. So I was looking in the back. I knew there were repairs and I looked at it, but never looked closely at it, how they did it. So I will show you how they repaired this. So let me know what you all think about, well, this repair. And this means only one thing. Should I do it all over again? Or can I leave it this way and work my way around? Let me show you. This is the inside. And over there, hopefully it's visible, you can see that, mm, what's the best way, this is the best way of lightning, I guess, yes. You can see they welded it over the original sheet metal, so that's a lot of thickness to work away with filler. So there probably will be a lot of filler over there, and I'm not a big fan of this work. But, well, everybody thought my cadet was looking way crazy cool, and ne nobody noticed it ever. So, let me see when we're grinding everything down on how bad or how good it will be. And then I will decide what I'm going to do, or everybody needs to have some good tips for me what I should do with this. Because I'm a little bit of doubt. And of course, the spots are over here and over there. So everywhere on the car are these tiny, tiny, tiny little bubbles. And well, we're going to see when we're grinding it down what they did behind that and what we need to figure out. So there will be a lot of grinding and sanding. First up, what I'm going to do going to grind down the bottom plates then grind down everything over here final bumper mount on fixing the bulkhead then grinding this side down that side all down and putting it all in protective primer because I want to make the complete front primed and prepped and looking kind of cool and let's see how far we're going to clean out the chassis rails and if we're going to leave the original seams or which ones we're going to keep and which ones we're going to work away with the clean engine bay. So prep work, grind the bottom down and then visualize, visualize, visualize on, on how I want the engine bay to be and to end up and slowly sanding everything down, getting the rest of the bits out. Work, worked on the workshop again so that we got some room to store the rest of the parts and we can take all of the body off. And then it will go into the rotisserie to get the bottom, complete bottom done. So lots of work to come, lots of stuff to do. And uh, yeah, I will be here for a while on the YouTube game with updates on the cadet. So cleaned out and prepared a lot of stuff on the workshop again on this side. Next weekend there will be a workbench with new cabinets for the sheet metal over there so all the crates can go away, those crates can go away and those can go away and then we can create more storage room for the parts. The never ending shop updates We'll always keep going, but we're getting there. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel, and uh, please put something in the comments so we can discuss on all the craziness about the cadet, what's happening and what will going to happen. Put your opinion in the comments. See you all in the next episode. Oh, this is a t-shirt, but first I got the hoodies ordered. They will be in, well, I think next week. So they will ship out. Get yours now and more merch is on its way. See you all.